Hello there friends, welcome again to Ben Greer, a small city with an estimated 100,000 residents as of 2020 and also it's the capital of Hamna province in central Morocco. The city is going under lots of major road construction, pavement rehabilitation, road realignments and associated works to give the city a good look and to reinforce the infrastructure as well. Because it's been called the Green City since the inauguration of King Mohammed VI University, which is one of the best universities in Africa. And this city also hosts one of the largest military bases in Africa. More than this, it's really the second producer of phosphates in Morocco. Today I had the chance to shoot a good video about major works and constructions and it was a great opportunity to meet Mr. Olivier, a professional driver from France who was taking charge of this machine called cold planer or miling machine which is a type of heavy equipment designed for miling the road surface. This machine uses a big rotating drum with many carbide tipped road mine teeth on it to grind and remove the pavement or the road surface. These carbide cutters are held by tool holders that are placed around the rotating drum as the drum rotates and cuts the road surface. The paved asphalt is delivered by a conveyor belt to a truck moving in front of the mile and machine. When holders and teeth wear out over time, they are of course replaced with new ones. This machine has many advantages like recycling asphalt, repairing existing damages, building ramal strips and more. In these major works also they use the drum roller or a road roller or also called the compact roller which is an important machine for road construction. It's designed to flatten and smooth the road surface. There are many types of rollers and the most known of them are the pneumatic roller and the vibratory one. And as you know, heavy machines are required in different large projects to make the job safer, easier and quicker. Road construction and reinforcement is a specialized area of construction that is highly technical, requiring various special equipments and rigor. Whether it's about building a new road or rehabilitating an old one using the right machines is very, very important. After removing the old hermit road surface part and flattening and smoothing it with the compact roller, they bring asphalt which is a block petroleum like material which is obtained either from the distillation of petroleum or natural deposits. This material softens when heated and becomes elastic under certain conditions. They apply a coat or two on a surface of the road based on the quality of the asphalt and if the road is built for the first time or was just an old one in need of some reinforcement. Asphalt is also used in dam facings, sea works, roofs against leakage, coatings, floor tilings and waterproof works and also in number of uh, industrial products such as batteries. This is a busy place in Ben Gurir. it's called Kasla Street with the national road number 9 crossing it towards Casablanca in the north and Marrakesh in the south. This place is gone through lots of rehabilitation of the buildings and shops before this road rehabilitation. At the end of his day, Mr. Olivier always takes care of his machine because he knows cleaning the machine after a day of hard work is the best way ever to keep it in good condition and avoid damages of vulnerable parts which the smallest one of them can cost an arm and a leg. So he's never tired of doing the cleaning by himself and splashing some water on the external and internal parts of the machine to remove any sticky asphalt and small stones which may cause serious problems if left there for too long. This machine is really a high fuel consumption beast and a driver must be well trained to use it in a most appropriate way else it would go lame and never move on a road surface. Now Mr. Olivier is taking his dyno to have some rest and cool off after a day of tough miling. He is always careful because the machine looks like a three wagon train moving slowly on these chain wheels. It is 
always a man following him at the back and another in the front of the machine to give Mr. Olivier signals about safety and to help him park the machine the right way. I hope you've enjoyed my video about major roads, construction and rehabilitation in Vengrir. Don't forget to give likes, leave some comments and hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much and see you next time.